Two weeks ago, police say they got a call for an alarm at 3 a.m. at the Exton Target off Route 100. Officers searched the building and didn't find anything. But the next day, police say Target employees found this surveillance video showing 25-year-old Johnson LaRose and 24-year-old Charlotte Fisher wandering around the store for hours after they closed. Turns out Johnson and Fisher are also saucy and honey, police say. And the couple documented the whole thing on YouTube for their roughly 17,000 followers, calling it the 24-hour overnight challenge in Target. We're now in an era where your next viral moment can skyrocket you into internet fame and potential financial freedom. You can find thousands of creators doing whatever they can to make a name for themselves. Well, this social media couple took the risk to go viral, and some would say that they achieved that outcome. Saucy and Honey was a couple who was tapping into a popular trend of relationship content where couples vlogged their daily lives, committed pranks on each other, and just showed their personality in a way to make themselves relatable to their subscribers. But they went too far when they decided to attempt the 24-hour challenge in Target, and it ended in a way that they never would have expected. I can't we did it. Yeah, I can't believe we did it, man. You want to give your testimony? Like... I, thought, I thought we were about to get caught up. <laughs> In today's story, we're going to discuss a couple that went viral for all the wrong reasons and turned an overnight stay in the Target into potentially 2,500 nights behind bars. But before we get into all of this, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button. If y'all do end up liking the video, hit subscribe. We just trying to grow the channel. This your boy Stone Astro. We making documentaries on anything around here. So if you have a story that you'd like me to check into, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. But without further ado, let's go ahead and float right back into this. As a kid, I would wonder what it would be like to be inside of a store overnight, playing with everything and not worrying about the cost of anything. But again, that's just the thoughts of an innocent child. As an adult, I've grown to learn to avoid anything that could put me behind bars. Saucy and Honey said it best at the beginning of their now infamous video that they uploaded to their YouTube page. Now sitting at over 230,000 views, the comment section is filled with all types of reactions. Some believe that this was just a young couple taking it too far in their pursuit to grow their platform and others see this as a completely idiotic attempt for some viral validation. The couple's journey on their YouTube channel started May 8th in 2020 and it gained a nice loyal community and it seemed like a dope couple who seemed to love to prank each other and have a good time. But that will all change when they decide to stay inside of a Target overnight. They will pull up to the Target in Chester and enter the store a little bit before closing, you know, to make sure that they had time to set up their fort behind boxes. The couple will go on a vlog and even go live during their all night stay inside of the Target after the last employees filtered out of the store, the coast was clear and they proceeded to wander around, dancing, exploring, and playing around the store. It wouldn't be all peaceful though. There was a couple scares for the couple throughout the night when a car pulled up outside and flashed the lights through the door or sometimes when they were hearing an occasional random right sound. We should do that before 3 a.m. though. 3 a.m. is when ghosts come out. They say that's the witching hour. Mm -hmm. What? No, listen, I didn't come here for a scare. I came here for a good time. They quickly realized that the overnight stay was going to be a little bit more worrisome than they originally thought. All seemed like it was going according to plan, though, when a couple decided to go back to the fort and take a mini nap. Throughout their entire stay, they would consistently show the time, which would be important later. And eventually, they successfully left in the morning, or so they tried to make their viewers believe. So how did they get caught? It turns out that they faked the video. At 3 a.m., Saucy and Honey would leave through an emergency exit, which tripped an alarm. By the time that the police arrived, the couple was gone. The police will open an investigation to discover the cause of the disturbance. They went back through their surveillance film to find the two intruders on their phones wandering around the store at night. Although nothing was stolen or damaged, the police were curious why the mysterious couple was wandering throughout the store overnight. You know, you know a little bit bigger investigation, trying to find out what they were doing. Was there something criminal? It turns out to complete the video, after leaving, the couple returned the next morning to Target with the same clothes on from the last night to film the completion of the challenge. The police would charge Charlotte Fisher and Johnson LaRose for criminal trespassing. The charges given from this overnight stay at Target could hold this couple up for the next seven years in prison. This is such a wild example of how all clout ain't great clout, and this couple's attempt to entertain their subscribers may have had very serious real-world consequences. As of now, from what I could find online, both of the couple is still awaiting a verdict. Johnson has posted his 25K bail, and though I couldn't find much on Charlotte, it seems like she's still out as well, per her recent IG stories. 
They both have been off YouTube for months and seem to be keeping a low profile on the internet. It seems like if they would have never just left out that door at 3 a.m., they might have got away with it. But when it comes to taking risks for content, I can respect the hunger to make it in any way possible to raise your platform by any means. But this stunt took them from 17,000 to 24,000 subscribers and counting and they haven't made content in months. When it's all said and done between the court fees, lawyers, and time spent in legal battles, a lot of the comments seem to wonder if it was all worth it. About the, the Target situation? The what? The Target sleepover? <laughs> the Target sleepover? Oh, man, what you're talking talking about. About. You don't know what I'm talking about, it's on YouTube. Yeah. Now facing criminal no trespassing and conspiracy no charges for 1,600 views as of Wednesday afternoon, Saucy and Honey told me there won't be any more retail overnighters in PA, and then asked me to subscribe to their channel before leaving in a Tesla. You're charged. I mean, um, no regrets, you know, just living life and having fun. <laughs> it's kind of sad that all this came out of yeah. it, but we were expecting a fine, nothing crazy, nothing crazy but, like this. but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man, about this. It's a really crazy story and the outcome is really wild. I'll make sure that I link their full video down in the description just in case y'all wanted to check it out. But I appreciate anybody that stuck around to the end. It's your boy Stone Astral, man. And we about to blast on up out of here. So go ahead and drop that outro. Uh, I don't say a lot of things that I can't take it back. And if you want to know the truth. There's a lot of good things that I know I like, like I can't talk to you, I can't tell you the truth